Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, an amp that I bought recently and I had some problems. When turning it on here, everything was fine. I turned on mute, so when I would go from standby to on, I wouldn't hear any noise. But what I saw when turning on the amp, or, to be precise, what I heard was a loud, pretty loud noise, kind of a pop inside of this chassis. Not on the speakers, but in the chassis. I thought, well, maybe the circuits go on and, and the fan goes on, so this is what causes it. Then, uh, the next thing I noticed that some notes played on the bass uh, gave a growling, uh, a buzzling noise on the speakers. I thought maybe the speakers were damaged, but I checked them, they were fine. I connected them to this fella here and worked great. So, it was not the problem with the speakers. Then, I switched the cable from the speaker to jack connection and it turned out that one tube must have been bad and uh, it died on me. Uh, I think I have it somewhere here, maybe it's this. No, it's not that. Uh, but what turned out that the amp had... Ah, oh, this is it. You hear the rattling noise? This, this is a, the bad tube, so... It turned out that in this amp there are six uh, 6550 tubes. One uh, was not from a uh, matched sextet, one was a different one. One, one was this Softec. I think it is Softec, yeah, that's this one. So <coughs> uh, they must have been, it, it must have been replaced somewhere down the, uh, the road. And one of this Bugera tubes uh, died on me, this one, this particular one. Uh, so I ordered a new set, a matched set of six. This one, electro harmonics, and as you can see, they have been measured and matched. Um, but uh, I, I replaced them, I did the same with some other tubes on the same. Uh, so the, this this buzzling noise on some mm, some notes mm, was caused by this broken tube. But uh, I looked into this tube. I replaced <coughs> the tubes myself. Rather an easy task, but I opened it, and as you can see, I put the names of the tubes down on this uh, on this plate, uh, so I know which tube uh, would go where to. And because um, I had already put this amp together, I wanted to measure the resistors uh, between on on, <coughs> on the on pin four and five. Here's the, the uh, uh, circuit diagram, and you can see that uh, the uh, screen grid, uh, I think it's called, is number five, and and four is another grid there. Uh, I, I, I don't remember the <coughs> right names for it, so forgive me. It's in the description of, of every tube, you can find them online. But um, number four and five are the ones that are to be checked. So, uh, how can you do this? Because they tend, one of them, I think number five, this, this resistor is the one that's that might uh, go south on you when you when one when the tube dies because uh, <coughs> it can it can it can destroy this uh, little fella. So I wanted to measure them, but since everything since uh, everything was back in place, only the tubes were left to to be put into the sockets. I thought maybe I could do this afterwards. And if we look at, at this diagram, and this is what why I made this video. Um, they are connected to uh, one another, so they are all connected to this line that goes somewhere to the connected to the power amp. This is not very important at that moment. So uh, when measuring five and and five to one another, I should get the double uh, resistance that's written here. So 47k by two, some in the 90, uh, 94 range, and uh, I can do this with all the tubes, and I can do the same, but with a different uh, 
measuring uh, with a different value a vo value uh, of 44 uh, kilo ohm if I measure 4 and 4. But the funny thing is that I came across if we measure <coughs> them it doesn't uh, turn out to be V1, V2 and V3 because we get different measurements. I will put my camera on the stand and I will show you why and how. One sec, okay. You should be able now to see everything, I hope. Okay, so I will take out the last remaining tube <coughs> to show you the pin location. So this is the index uh, indexing pin or indexing part of the of the M uh, middle part and you can, oh sorry, the, here it is, this is it and here you can read the numbers of the pins 1, 2, 3, 4 and so forth so if you look at this, this is, uh, let me see so this is number 4 and this is number 5 so those are the pins 4 and 5 so I <coughs> will Turn on my uh, multimeter and now let's start measuring. And if you look at the uh, uh, <coughs> uh, at the schematics, uh, you can see that three tubes are combined together in a set and the other three tubes are combined in one set and they are also bias together. So I thought it would be top and bottom bank and this is what it looks like according so so but if I measure now pin 4 and uh, sorry pin 5 and 5 you can see that the uh, <coughs> multimeter uh, shows 92.8 kilo ohm now if I do the same with uh, tube socket that I guess is number 2 and 3 it reads 187.2 and this means that uh, it cannot be two tubes because according to this they should read 97 so uh, I checked the other part of the uh, of the circuit and if we look they are eventually connected in the power amp section and there it goes through different resistors and this uh, gives us those readings if I connect now what I thought was uh, V4 and V5 it will read once again uh, 187 but if I check on V5 and V6 it reads 93 so they are the ones that are in one section now if I now try V6 and V3 it reads 92 this means that those three are one section and those three are the other one so should be V1, V2, V3 or V1, V2, V3 um, and we see here it's the same 92.6 and here it's also the same 93 so and if we check uh, now pin 4 it will tell us probably around 44 oh yeah, it's 45 kilo ohm and the same with the other socket so this is how you can measure uh, without taking this whole thing apart if should you have had a tube failure if one of the resistors that are in the uh, circuit board uh, went south on you and had to be has to be replaced so this is well everything that I wanted to to show to you at this moment so this is once again the uh, the circuit uh, diagram I I hope this was well <coughs> educational for you uh, it helped me to not disassemble the amp once again to do this measurement this way and what I noticed with a fresh set of tubes uh, this amp doesn't make such it still makes some noise when going from standby to on but it's not as loud as before. So that's all <clears throat> that I wanted to to share with you. Thanks a lot. Bye.